ghoulish greetings, and spooky salutations, internet friends. And welcome back to another episode of Solo Screenings. My name is Emily, and typically I watch uh, movies with my husband, Matthew. Uh, But for solo screenings, the name is pretty obvious. I watch movies by myself. Uh, Today, I'm pretty excited. This is our most recent poll winner. We are watching Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. Uh, And as you can see, I decided to do a cosplay for it. Um, This wig is absolutely trash garbage, so cheap, and it shows. Um, So sorry, just in advance, it's it's a roughin', but (laughs) it's up there. Um, And let me tell you, Elvira's makeup's hard. (laughs) I wasn't prepared, like I didn't have all of the things I needed. Like I should have done like a white waterline things and like really like make the eyes bigger. But, um, you know, we make do with what we can, and uh, here we are. I'll be honest, I'm pretty excited. I've had a lot of people recommend this movie over the years. They've said that, uh, based on my preference for comedy and um, titties, that I would probably really appreciate Elvira and all that she brings to the table. So, uh, I'm interested to get into it. I will say we will be doing, as always, after we watch the movie, we'll be going over some interesting little trivia, fun tidbits and stuff that Matthew gathered for me beforehand. So, without any further ado, or further (laughs) aboo, let's watch the movie. Here we go. Oh, we got right into it. Okay, I love it. Oh. So that's what you look like. You're ugly. Well. Oh no. Oh yeah. I mean, oh no. <laughs> oh. Listen, stop it. He's just trying to get a girlfriend. He learned almost too late that man is a feeling creature. And because of it, the greatest in the universe. Come on, just try it out, baby. That was a good movie. Didn't see Elvira. Oh, there she is. (laughs) Elvira, the gal with the enormous uh, ratings. (laughs) (laughs) Oh boy, I mean, could you believe that cheesy looking monster? (laughs) Gumby on steroids. (laughs) Until then, this is Elvira, the gal who put the boob back in the boob tube. (laughs) Unpleasant dream. Is there anything that could possibly shame you? Yeah, wearing this in a public place might do it. Snap! <laughs> hey, Vara. Oh, oh no. no. Rudy. What is it? What is it? What well, the lard bucket and a ten gallon hat? Oh god. Yes, that's the station you want it. Oh no. The sooner I get in the saddle, the better. Well, oh, I'm sorry, no. partner, but looks like it's gonna be you and your trusty old right hand. <laughs> Sounds like you're looking to get yourself fired, little lady. Oh no. I have an act opening up in Las Vegas. You can try your act out on me. It's milking time. <gasps> yep. Within so much as 10 feet of me, and I'm going to tie your weenie in a granny knot. <laughs> There's no problem with the show, is there? Problem? <laughs> Complications. Oh, Never no. Problem. Flamingo won't, won't go ahead with the show unless you come up with some money to help finance it. $50,000. 50000 Telegram for Miss Elvira. I'll take it. <laughs> Telegram. Telegram for Mongo. <laughs> I'm sorry to inform you of her untimely passing. Oh. Oh, I didn't even know I had a good aunt, much less a great one. <laughs> Here, all I have to do is come to Falwell, Massachusetts for the reading of the will, and I'll pick up my inheritance. Is that timing or what? It's great timing. That's what it is. Well, wow, how did they get her makeup so perfect? I bequeath my entire fortune. (laughs) (laughs) Let's show Elvira exactly what she's inherited. uh, um, What? Oh. A beautiful new sailboat. You're going to sail away in a sporting sensation. I don't know how to sail, but thank you. Oh, she's jumping. (laughs) Oh, this is a dream. Money! 
Lots and lots of money. That's my favorite. Elvira, oh no, just a away? waking dream even. Okay. Tell them all I have that 50 grand as soon as I get back from Massachusetts. I love your enthusiasm and your nails and your ring and like everything, basically. Oh my God. I want that car. I'm in, Sailor. Oh. <laughs> oh, kick ass. Oh, here, you forgot your axe. Oh, ah! <laughs> oh my god, look at the grill. It's a spider web. Ah, you know, you're doing 50 in a 25 mile per hour zone. No, but if you have a few bars, I'll fake it. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. I gotta get a new joke. Oh. It's costing me a fortune. <gasps> oh, baby, no. You could just slow down a little bit. You don't have to get a new joke. Just slow down. I'm, I just really want to know, like, her whole bosom setup. How do they stay in there? Is everything just taped? Get out of there. Oh. Teddy's on the glass. <laughs> mm, I want a hot dog. Oh no, mustard. It's okay. Uh-oh, uh we smoking. Oh no, Lord. Save it. Oh, Jesus. Well, I never. Yeah, and you never will with them soup cans on your head. <laughs> The Antichrist. Can someone tell me where there's a garage around here? Would one of you big, strong oh. men mind giving me a little push? Oh, okay. Yes, mommy. Man, what I would do for just one peek at those gazongas. The gazongas. Oh, and she put stickers all over everything just like I do. See, my laptop is full of stickers. It's great. I love it so much. Is that makeup I see on your face, young lady? No, mother, I don't. Shut up, Leslie. Oh. I used to get the same line about makeup from the nuns at the orphanage. Of course, I was only eight. Uh. <laughs> you must think we're really stupid. They're gonna kill Spider-Man with plutonium. He's got radioactive blood. <laughs> Let me see that. He makes a good point. He makes a good point. Oh! Oh, he need to be punched in the mouth. That is no way to talk to a lady. Okay, I think we're good. So, I should have taped this. How about a blowjob? Oh my God. How about you blow off? Yes. Uh-uh. Hey, he got punched in the mouth. Great. I'm Bob. Bob Redding. Pleased to meet you. It's all right, Patty. I'll take care of the damages. Seems to me it's all this cheap little tarts fault. Cheap. Cheap. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You better watch out. You could put some of these eyes out with them thing. Yeah. They're a little pointy. I run the movie house. Oh, and... really? <laughs> I'm in movies too. Have you ever shown uh, I Married Satan? No. I doubt it. How about the sequel, I Married Satan too? Uh, uh, uh. Weirdly enough, yes, we did. We I, showed the uh, sequel. I can only play G-rated <laughs> movies. There's nothing wrong with G-rated movies. It's... As long as there's lots of sex and violence. Um. <laughs> Who is this grand niece? Here hey she is. Sorry I'm late, but then so's my aunt. Oh no! <laughs> then so's my aunt! Uh, this is your great aunt's brother, Vincent Talbot. Uncle Vinny! <gasps> oh. Get this woman oh. off of me! Never in my life. I bequeath my house, my beloved poodle Algonquin, and my precious book of recipes. To my dear brother Vincent, I leave the rest of my estate and holdings, of which there is none. Oh! Boss, what's so important about a dumb recipe book? That <clears throat> dumb recipe book contains more power than your feeble little minds can ever imagine. Is it a recipe book or is it a spell book? But I would be interested in acquiring that recipe. I'd be willing to pay you, say, $50. Hey, sure, 50 dollars. Fifty. for 50 bucks. <gasps> ah. Oh, we're here. Oh, see? This is a lovely house. You can sell that. You can make a big profit off of that. Hey, this place ain't half bad. No. I bet you could get a bundle for it. Yeah. Yes, you could. But your house is over there. Oh, no. Oh, yay! 
please. Come on, that's super your aesthetic. Just wanted to thank you for that generous donation you made to the Morality Club. You're quite well. The Morality Club? Is that the woman who was in Planes, Trains, and Automobiles? Careful. Some of the boards will lose. Oh! A poo oh, goodness. I can't stand Nelly little dogs. Boy, if my aunt wasn't dead, I'd kill her. Oh! Oh! <gasps> oh! Here's the rest of your inheritance. Your great aunt's oh. recipe book. She's pretty. Oh, I forgot to meet my phone. I'm the worst. Say, how much you think I could get for this place? I'd venture to say you could get um, 70,000. 70 grand? Maybe more, but we're fixed up. Would you be interested in selling? Yeah. Does a chicken have a pecker? Of course I'm interested. <laughs> now, what am I going to do with you? Oh, no. <sighs> That's more like it, Algonquin. Ah! <laughs> oh, was Algonquin like her familiar or something? You promised me that book. I didn't just walk away. I'm sure it'll turn up. Yes. Forgive me. Ew. Oh boy. Ah. Y'all are terrible. What do you see? What do you see? Oh. In a minute. Oh. <gasps> oh. Oh. I hope she just thinks that's a lightning flash. Because otherwise, y'all are going to get got. Ah! <laughs> you blew it. Did you see those kazongas? The so kazongas? Oh my god, yes. Those pillows. I swear to god, my grandma had some like that. I want this entire ensemble. Ah! Phew. I love the paper wrap. Hi, Elvira. Hi. Oh, hi, you're here. Let's do it. Oh. Hey, Elvira, we got us a couple more volunteers. Grab a tool and start banging. <laughs> Robin Meeker, what in the name of the nation are you doing here? Oh, Lord, she hit her with the tar nation. That's a lot of different colors. What does the house look like? I've never been so jealous of someone's house before. <laughs> and this morning, on my regular tour of the boys' lavatory, what? I confiscated this. Uh, he tried to put it in his jacket. Henceforth, all students will be subject to immediate expulsion if they are found in the company of that floozy. Expulsion? This Elvira is a person of... Easy virtue, one woman Sodom and Gomorrah. A slimy, slithering succubus, a concubine, a streetwalker, a tramp, a slut, a cheap whore! You flatterer. Maybe we're not being entirely objective about this. I Shut agree. up, Leslie. Y'all let Leslie speak. He's got words to say. Honey, I'd do anything to get rid of this rat trap. <laughs> mm, that's what I like, a motivated seller. Is that what you like? Let's try and... Set the proper mood. Slowly mm. unveil everything, one carry at a time. Then, when he's so enthralled, he's ready to burst. You clinch the deal. Oh! Ow. You'll never show the place without me. Just because this house is up for grabs doesn't mean I am. Get him. <laughs> yeah, get him, gonk. You're telling me to calm down? I told y'all, come up with the money. Heck, I was just... Six inches from selling this house today. <laughs> That's a very generous assumption that it was six inches. Fly within. Oh. Now I understand she is out looking for a job. Well, yeah, you have to have a job to live. Oh, Lord, they big mad. Did that say how to fuck? Oh, Are you all right? Yeah, I think so. How's your head? I haven't had any complaints yet. <laughs> I 
I'd hire you if I could, but I I'm barely making enough money to stay in business as it is. I'm not surprised. I mean, who wants to pay to see some quack making duck calls? You got an extra E in matinee. That's how you spell it. I'm in show business. I think I know how to spell matinee. I honestly don't know. Or I like, seriously could not begin to tell you how it's spelled. Oh boy. Oh! Try. Oh! Get switched! Just so happens that I have some of the classic films of all time in the trunk of my car. As a matter of fact, I should have done my nails. I didn't think that far in advance, though. I also should have, like, tried to, I don't know, pray over this wig or something. It real bad. So. My boy got a secret elevator? Hold on. Oh, shit. Oh my gosh, they're like witches and such. He who holds the book of sight when the moon is drained of all its light will then be ruler of the night, master of the dark. Oh. You're dead, and I'm not. Not yet. Yours truly is hosting a special midnight screening at Fob's Theater of one of the worst movies ever made. Oh. Hey, what mm -hmm. is this? Two days ago, we were bosom buddies. Ah. You'd kill us if we went to your show. Not to mention our parents. You'd kill your parents, too? Oh, my God! <laughs> I mean, so what if it blows my only chance at making a living? And if I get so depressed, I wind up hanging myself in the oven? Oh, my God. Wait, what? Hell! Tell him that when all is said and done, I only ask that people remember me by two simple words. Any two as long as they're simple. <laughs> I want that put on my tombstone. I don't know about the rest of you, but I'll be there. Oh, what a good girl. Me too. Oh, what a good boy. <laughs> it's the the wailing that did it be there or be square oh no oh no it's busted ass barbie back there eaves dropping what's the bucket for didn't i tell you the part that i ripped off i mean that was inspired by flash dance i ripped off, i mean inspired by and my entire body is covered in gold glitter. Could you die? Oh, all yes. right. Okay, yes. I'm telling you, yes. I guarantee standing ovulation. Um, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Yeah. I have certain do. <laughs> Points! <laughs> no. Where the guy gets pureed. Oh, wait, is this killer tomatoes? It's time for the grand finale! Yay. Oh, even the Flashdance song. I haven't actually seen Flashdance. I just know the scene. <laughs> oh. Oh, wee! <laughs> oh. 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 What is that? Oh, my God. Oh. You did not actually tar and feather somebody. I have never been so humiliated in my entire life. Gas. I got even with every one of them if it's the last thing I do. Oh, nice dissolve. <laughs> There's a darn recipe book. Let's get under there. I don't know. <laughs> oh. oh. Oh, that reminds me. I'm starving. Oh, well, I got something you can eat. Oh no. <laughs> Looks like it was written in some kind of foreign language or something. A Draca Cozerol. Cozerol. Casserole. Oh, casserole. Yeah, of course. Absolutely. Oh no. Oh my god. <laughs> to be fair, that looks like something I would cook. It's soup. I love it. There's just mustard on the table. Here's dinner. <laughs> ah! Oh no! Oh, I love it! Yay! I'm so happy! Oh, he won't get you. Oh my god, that's so nasty. Gnarly! 
Oh, that is split pea soup. Just follow the directions in my aunt's gunk. Oh, this is your dream. Deja vu. <laughs> The time has now come when your only protection is the truth. Say what? <laughs> he would have destroyed you as he did her had I not sent you away. I left you with all the power you would need to protect yourself. Pick and save orphanage? No! <laughs> What's that about a familiar? Every witch has one. They're like a, like a pet that can change into almost anything. Protect the book, Elvira. And above all, keep it from Vincent. When the moon falls under the earth. <laughs> Oh, oh shit! <laughs> Put that baby in drag. Oh. Hold me. <laughs> oh, oh, the eyes as she's got. Oh boy. Chastity, the picnic's a great success. They love some mustard around here. Oh shit. Let's just say I'm settling the score. Oh, oh no. Boy. Oh yes. Oh wait, what? I don't get it. What happened? Looks like some sort of casserole. <gasps> you bitch! Who in their right mind? I thought you said you were morality. No one with any morals would stick their finger. Dude, must have screwed it up when they substituted the Falembra with some hamburger helper. <laughs> That'll do it. Mm -mm. Oh, well, it's probably going to do something still, surely. I feel a little odd. <laughs> I feel a little odd. Oh, goodness. Oh, no. Remind what? you of anything? Remind you of anything? <laughs> Oh boy. Oh boy, indeed. Oh, horn dog. <laughs> Excuse me. Is oh. this face What? <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! I'm so happy right now. Oh no. Okay, well I'm less happy. Don't put that there. Oh my god. It's an orgy at the morality picnic, y'all. Oh no, 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 no. Help! No, no. Excuse me. Bop! Oh, 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 wait a minute. Oh. Oh lord. And he had his way. You sat on someone's face. <laughs> it's Elvira who is responsible for all this. Arrested? On what charges? The charge, my fellow council members, is... Witchcraft. Witchcraft. <laughs> the book! It's my only chance! Quick, run to the house and get it! Okay. <gasps> oh no! Oh, Lord of mercy. Oh. Ah! Oh, that's adorable. Oh, took too much antacid in the 60s. <laughs> antacid? <laughs> Lord, oh, Lord. Save this wretched creature's soul, uh. even though her creamy white flesh will burn and sizzle and... Oh no, wrong cell! Quick! Quick, Gonk, quick! I love the tiny little mohawk. Good work, Gonk. Gonk is 100% the hero of this entire story. You smoke? Do you smoke? We'll find out soon enough. <laughs> you don't have to, though. You don't have to burn the witch. We could have s'mores instead. You all seem pretty fond of hot dogs and mustard. Let's do that. Death by fire! Y'all ain't even have a trial. Hold it, Shira. It'll catch faster oh. if you light it in several places. Oh. No! No, marshmallows! No! You're supposed to do that without Elvira attached to the fire. Oh. <laughs> this baby! 
Ruby scales me. Is that her ring? Oh shit! Y'all done messed up now. You could have just left her alone, but now she's a proper witch and mad to boot. To boob. Mad to boob. Yeah. Look, the lunar eclipse. Uh oh. Vincent's got the book. Oh no. Oh, he look rough. I guess that is 300 years. Oh, Lord. Gunk! Don't. Ah! Oh, so you want to play rough, eh? Well, take this. Oh, no. <laughs> Poop. That's not what I meant to do at all. Oh, shit. <laughs> Rambo style. Are you looking for me? <laughs> Ooh. Did you think you could stop me with your toys? I sure hope. No, but I figured it'd be worth a shot. Mm -hmm. Look! <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! Heal hath no fury. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm fairly proud of that one. Yes! Oh, God! Uh oh. Uh oh. Oof. I gotta hand it to him. That scared me. <laughs> oh my God, he's turning into sloth. <laughs> Baby Ruth. Oh no, quick. Get him an antacid. <laughs> no, Elvira! You no. die! No! Yeah! I'm rubber, you're glue. Oh goodness me. Oh no, the beautiful house! Hmm. My boy's got a neck brace. And the dog! <laughs> Gosh, Elvira, I'm sorry. <laughs> I know you had your heart set on playing Las Vegas. Uh oh, here comes the lynch mob. This is our way of saying we were wrong about you, and we're sorry. You tried to burn her at the stake. As long as you're in Fallwell, you will always have a free room at the Cozy Cot. Just a minute, Leslie. Shut up, you old bag. Oh! Yeah, Leslie finally got to say his piece. Sorry that I set you on fire and everything. <laughs> Don't worry, she's bigger than that. A lot bigger. <laughs> With your uncle gone, you're the only heir to his estate. Not an inconsiderable one at that. <gasps> Las Vegas. Money! The Mistress of the Dark, Elvira. Oh. I've always dreamed of doing this. Oh. She's rapping. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! Look at him go! Titties! <sighs> That's so great. Yeah! Unpleasant dream. Okay, so that was Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. Um, th first and foremost, fantastic. Everything about it, I loved it. It was just the kind of movie that I love, that I'm interested in, that I appreciate. So just, it's just great. Um, <laughs> I loved the non-stop puns, the non-stop jokes, the one-liners, the just over the top. My wig is like falling off of my face now, uh, but it's it's 
Well, it's not on my face. It's on my head, you see. Um, anyways, uh, sorry. This was just great. Everything about this, I loved it. The comedy aspect was hilarious. It was just perfect. There was just enough, like, grossness. Uh, there was just enough, like, actual story, you know? Um, I adore how horny this movie was. <laughs> it speaks to my very soul and I appreciate it more than I can ever fully articulate. <laughs> I think y'all know how much I enjoyed it. I'm going to go ahead and get into Matthew's notes. Um, so I will say, so I've got this really cute envelope, which I love that I typically in the past have had his um, notes in here. Uh, but he just sent me an email and I forgot to print it. Um, so <laughs> I'm just going to be reading the email. So that's what's happening. Okay. So first he says, Cassandra Peterson. I, that's Elvira. I saw that in the credits. Cassandra Peterson credits a terrible childhood injury with setting her on the path to creating Elvira. When she was 18 months old, she overturned a pot of boiling water onto her. So, oh my God. Uh, so she had like skin grafts, various surgeries. She said, I totally think that the accident paved the way for me becoming Elvira. I literally adopted another persona who had all of the qualities that I wanted, to, but I couldn't get on my own. Oh, uh, because, okay, so she, she had like scarring and it made her a target for bullies. Okay, I see. Very interesting. That's wild. Jesus, can you imagine that for her, like a like a baby, like a toddler? That's horrible. Oh, in her autobiography, she writes about it being drawn to horror because she felt like a misfit. Oh my gosh, I love that. That's that's very cool. I like that. Find your find the things you love out of the things that hurt you. You know, um, that's fantastic. I love that. Cassandra Peterson became a Las Vegas showgirl when she was just 17 years old. So she did live her dream, I guess. Uh, okay, hold on. Let me, let me, let me dig into this a little bit more. Let's see. When she was a teenager, Anne Margaret was one of her uh, idols. Okay. So she, she went to a family vacation and her parents took her to a musical review, Viva La Girls. I don't know what that is, but it sounds like I'd be into it. <laughs> the dance captain noticed her in the audience, invited her to audition. That's crazy. <laughs> Just like, hey, I saw you in the audience. Do you want to come and dance? Oh, and so her parents had to sign a release. Okay, because she was 17. Okay. That is wild. Became one of the youngest showgirls in Las Vegas. I love that. That's great. That is so great. Cassandra Peterson once received some sage advice from Elvis Presley. Okay. Okay. When she was 17, they went on a sort of date, apparently. Okay. <laughs> he told her to get the heck out of Las Vegas and pursue a singing career. Okay. Interesting. She started singing lessons the next day. And then when her contract ended, she went to Europe and... One of the things she did was join an Italian pop band called the Latins 80. Interesting. Have to give that a Google. That's very cool to have Elvis Presley tell you that you should be a singer. Like you just say, okay, yes. And apparently that's what she did. So. <laughs> okay. So Elvira was originally intended to be Vampira's daughter. Okay. I know who that is. Uh, we watched Ed Wood for the channel not too terribly long ago. Uh, so that is very cool. Um, the station, okay. Producers, okay, so in 1981, producers at Los Angeles uh, wanted to revive the Vampire Show, which had been canceled by the station back in 56. Producers brought in Malia Nurimi. I probably butchered her name, I'm sorry. Uh, the actress who played Vampira, but she was in no condition to burp prize her classic role. The producers decided to hire a young actress for the part and offered, <laughs> I'm going to screw her name up again, Nurmi? Nurmi? Uh, tell me how bad I'm butchering it. I mean, no, I am, but t tell me how to say it. Offered her an executive producer credit and royalties in exchange for the use of the vampire name. 
when Peterson was hired for the role, she was told she'd be playing Vampire's daughter. Okay. All right. Um, the man who wrote Michael Jackson's Thriller originally wanted Elvira to record the spoken word segment that was ultimately delivered by Vincent Price. What? That's so crazy. Okay, so apparently Jed Pittman wrote in his biography that he originally wanted to record the spoken word segment of the song or, or have Elvira do that, but the producer Quincy Jones had a personal connection with Vincent Price. Okay, so okay. I lose out on some of my idol would be my first choice. Okay. That's totally fair. Yes, I I agree. I agree. I too would, you know, bow out to Vincent Price. <laughs> Okay, so the last one, Cassandra Peterson recently came out as a member of the LGBTQ plus community. Oh, okay. I did not know this. Okay. Uh, for decades, Peterson has been an ally and an activist for the LGBTQ causes. In her autobiography, she reveals that she's been in a relationship with a woman for the last 19 years. The couple kept their relationship quiet for nearly two decades, fearing that fans might reject Elvira if they knew the truth. Peterson explained... Uh, Elvira is a big horn dog, and <laughs> she didn't want to risk the character's reputation as an incurable man chaser. Okay, Peterson reminded the interviewer that she also kept her 25-year marriage to Mark Pearson relatively quiet for the same reason. I do, I get that uh, because a lot of times people have <laughs> problems separating the character from the person, um, and when your when your livelihood kind of relies on that character you really don't want to do anything to jeopardize that so I do understand that but I'm really glad that she was able to like be honest with the people with the world about you know who she truly is how she truly is and I'm really just super happy for her on that um so that's all of Matthew's notes he knows that I like to keep it short when I'm just doing the solo because it's it's just kind of weird to try and like banter with myself basically <laughs> um but that is very cool uh i i just love this i love the hell out of this i, I love the hell out of this uh so <laughs> i'm probably going to be making elvira one-liners even more than my regular one-liners for at least the rest of the day probably the rest of the week so you're welcome <laughs> i'll go ahead and get into ratings uh i love this there was gore there was cheesy horror, there were one-liners, there was fantastic, like, goth aesthetic, um, her makeup was impeccable, her hair is phenomenal, and she got dim titties. This is, a, it's a, you know, this movie knows exactly what it's wanting to be, it executes it perfectly. Uh, some even the, the effects were actually pretty good. I was like, okay, for a cheesy movie, like, this is, this is okay. We even had an orgy, y'all. There was an orgy. What else do you need? Straight up, this is a solid. Don't judge me. I don't care if you judge me. Whatever. For me, for me, Emily, hi. It's a 10. <laughs> this is a freaking 10. This is everything. Everything. This is everything for me. So yeah, there we go. Pippin, what would you rate it? 10 booby beans? He gets it from his mom. What can we say? Oh, <laughs> uh, guys, I think that's gonna be it. Um, I'm ready to go take some of this makeup off. It's starting to like hurt my eyes. <laughs> Thank you so much for hanging out. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to like the video. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please do so, so you can stay up to date on more crazy videos like this. If you all have any additional tidbits, fun facts, uh, you know, behind the scenes information, definitely let us know about that. Drop them in the comments. And if you have any suggestions of movies that I should probably see based on how much I love this one, let me know. Uh, you guys, thank you so much for hanging out. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Take care, and we'll see you next time with some more solo time. Bye. <laughs>